Hey guys, I'm Jonathan McCollum. I remember something and you don't have to. If you watch the Nostalgia Crates Old vs. New of, of Old vs. New King Kong, he says this King Kong on ice! I added this in. Hold on. After he says King Kong on ice. King Kong ice skating. How can I take that serious? How can he take that seriously? It's fucking King Kong, a giant ape, and ice. How? I thought ice was supposed to break just by drop. Okay, guys, explain to me something. How is it that over 1,000 pounds of pure ape, like King Kong, cannot break ice while going skating? Here. Okay, that's new. Hello, I'm the nostalgia critic. I remember it, so you don't have to. And welcome to another rendition of. Hi, 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 hi. And guys, I need your opinion. Have these five films... Hold on a minute. Okay. Out of these five films, out of the two Percy Jacksons, the two Godzillas, and the Ben 10. Alright, you got Ben 10, Race Against Time, Godzilla vs. Biolanti, Godzilla 2014, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief, and Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters! You want to know what I'm thinking of doing today? Reviewing all five of these movies! If I want to get all this done in time, I gotta get a script going. Yes! Five fucking movies! Five movies that I know most of probably, even the Nostalgia Crick has probably reviewed, uh. Yeah, he's done a sibling rivalry of this movie. And I know I've done about two reviews of this piece of. G I was about ready to say piece of garbage, but I paid good money for this movie. So I gotta do a script for Ben 10 Race Against Time, Godzilla vs. Biolanti, Godzilla 2014 edition, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief, and Percy Jackson. Sea of Monsters! And I can tell you what this one's about really quick. Alright, Percy Jackson here finds out that he has a brother that's part Cyclops and they both we already know Percy can communicate with Poseidon but his brother is the same way. He is part... If I remember 
copy this correctly. Uh, Percy's brother is son of Poseidon. Yes, Percy Jackson, the son of Poseidon, has a has a twin brother that he has not known about. What ludicrous! Really? Who would have a brother that has the same powers that can heal? This dude fell out of an old attraction ride and he... Ugh. And the ending to this and the beginning to this have nothing in common! I know Percy was training, but seriously, it doesn't continue. It may be a sequel, but seriously, it don't show Percy practicing combat with Annabeth. It takes them straight to an, a tournament event, I might add. At least here, this is a 60-year reboot. This is a 60 year reboot. Yeah. Even though this movie just came out last year. Fucking last year. Hold on. I gotta see how many Rotten Tomatoes is. And guys, why do we need to know about Rotten Tomatoes? I am BD Godzilla. 2014. All right. All right. This movie got uh. This movie somehow managed to get. Um, wait a minute. The movie had a hundred and sixty, one hundred and sixty million dollar estimated in the opening weekend to make ninety three million one hundred eighty eight thousand three hundred and eighty four dollars. Oh yeah. What am I complaining about? That was part of my money that went into that movie in the opening weekend. And, uh, hold on. It says, Did you know trivia? Garth Edwards is a big fan of Godzilla. Have watched the films as a child. Yeah, and I'm reading this off the imdb.com slash title slash T T zero eight three one three eight seven slash. Oh, here's the first lines quote. Boy, Doctor says our Jerry boy, boy, boy. I'm warning you, it's a mess. It's a it's just a total mess. Monarch sent me in this morning. Took a look around, but I told them we need you. Wow! Connections referenced in James and my Monday's Odyssey 2. Wait a minute. User reviews in Epic Godzilla. I just want to know how many Ryan Tomatoes this thing made in the box office. Hold on, guys. I gotta use. I gotta use something really quick. I will be back.
Hey guys, here I am. Okay, let's check out the Ryan Tomatoes. Ben Ten Race Against Time. I never actually saw that. This movie got a 4.5 rating? Wait a minute. Director Alex Winter. Is this the same Winter guy that was in the Amer was in the anime Godzilla show that wanted to take over Godzilla? Or um, am I thinking something different? Bakugan. Hmm. You guys are gotta be kidding. Bakugan. Actually got a 3.9 out of 10. What made you guys think that Bakugan is not a good show? It is. Well, they got Graham Phillips to play Ben Tennyson, Kristen M. Holt as Eon, Haley Ram as Gwen Tennyson, Beth Littleford as Sandra Tennyson. Oh, you won't believe who plays Max Tennyson in this movie. Lee Majors. Alright, JT is played by Taylor Foden? Alright, Heat Blast is played by Devin Franklin? Grey Matter, Carlos... I can't pronounce this guy's last name right, but it's Carlos Alazraqui. Alazraqui. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Hmm. Hmm. And Cash was played by Tyler Patrick Jones? Robert Picardo played Principal White. Aloma Wright was played by... I mean, Miss Dalton was played by Aloma Wright. Sam Shimono played an old man. And that's the, that's the entire cast. I can't pronounce... Well, Peg Hurd played Stephanie. I can't pronounce who played as Candace. But seriously? Wow! Godzilla guy versus Violante guy 6.6 .6 rating out of 10. 44 critics have reviewed this thing. I'm probably one of those critics. So I want to see who played Godzilla. What? pronounce half of these na more than half of these names. Kazuki to Toyohara played the Super X2 controller. That's about it. Smog versus Godzilla. I don't remember that movie. Am I still running? Oh yeah, I am. But really, guys, after a vol after rising from his volcanic grave, grave, don't you mean in 
Don't you mean imprisoned? After rising from his imprisonment, imprisonment, after being imprisoned in the volcan volcano on Mount Mahara on Oshima Island, Godzilla is threatened by a mutated rose bush. Oh yeah, I remember this film. People thought I was nuts. How dare you guys. I'm not really criticizing you, and I'm not saying that you think I'm nuts, but... I bet you guys were probably thinking, Oh, this dude must be nuts to review Godzilla over his violence. That's a 19... 1980... Well, the move, the, it says here on the case, 2012 Echo Bridge Home Entertainment. But the movie was actually based in 1989. Uh, we're talking about a 23 year, we're talking about 23 years of waiting for this movie to become on DVD. And I hope they remake this movie into making it better. I hope that's what the next Godzilla movie is going to be. Godzilla vs. Violante, the remake. Because I really hate... Why am I saying I hate this version? This takes place right after Godzilla 1985. And that was happened to be another reboot of the original Godzilla. Why do I think that Japan thinks the first Godzilla movie is perfect and the others are shit? Why do I think this? For me, I think the only two videos that are shit in the Godzilla franchise are Son of Godzilla and Godzilla's Revenge. Yeah. The only reason why I hate those two so much is because they have Manila, Godzilla's stupid son. Hey, at least in the versus Destroyer and in I can't believe I'm saying this. At also at their versus Destroyer in in Final Wars, they actually give Manila a reason to be in the movie. I can't believe I'm saying this, but to defend the humans, just like his father, Manila, a.k.a. Godzilla Jr., is actually befriended by a little kid, just like in, verse, in Godzilla's Revenge, but this kid names him Manila. Manila! The same name from... Ver from Godzilla's Revenge comes crawling out of the woodworks and comes straight in Godzilla's Godzilla Final Wars. But I have paid for the movie on YouTube, so I had no copyright notices there. <sighs> I almost coughed on my breakfast trying to say that right. Guys, if you really want me to review Benton two Godzilla movies and two Percy Jackson movies click that thumbs up button and if you don't want me to review any of these movies click the thumbs down button but I know you guys have not heard me review these two so if you want me to just review these two click the thumbs up but if you don't if you want me to review every single one of these and have my head explode Click the thumbs down button. Yeah, I can't believe I'm saying this, but click the thumbs down if you want me to review all five movies. But I've actually done... When I was talking about the... When I was talking about my Jurassic World review, I didn't... I forgot to mention that... After I saw Jurassic World, I cared more for the Velociraptors than ever before. I used to hate the raptors. 
even in Power Rangers Dino Charge and my were they in Mighty Morphin? I can't remember. I wasn't even around when the TV when Mighty Morphin was on TV. Oh yeah, and I have found this movie, Dragon Ball Evolution. But there is one little problem. I can't review this thing. Just right when Yoshi Roshi starts talking about oh when you got an all star in Dragon Ball Shen Long Yeah, not Shenron from the animated show, but Shen Long when you got all seven Dragon Balls, you were granted one witch. That's when the DVD starts fucking up out of nowhere. Really, out of nowhere, my Dragon Ball Evolution Z Edition DVD fucks up. Oh, God damn it. I'm losing my temper. I just took my morning meds. And it's only 5.36. Now, I can kind of ex... I... You know what? Just for the fuck of it. Just for the fucking hell of it. I'm just going to review these two movies to today. Both Percy Jacksons. If you guys were just going to vote and choose for me, I chose for you for me. Yeah. I don't know why you even bothered asking you to click the thumbs up or thumbs down. But I have made my decision. I'm just going to review the two Percy Jacksons because I've had someone actually beg me yeah, beg of me to review these two, also along with Jason X. But I have not told a certain individual that I will never, ever review Jason X. Because that movie, I gotta say it, it's part of the Friday the 13th franchise. And I can't stand those movies, even though my mom got me the first four films in one set. I can handle about one or two Friday the 13th movies, but that's about it. If I try to take on the four set, the four movie set, I will have nightmares for weeks. Bad enough, I'm already dreaming that every time I go to sleep or I close my eyes for a few minutes, I feel like there's an, I'm been teleported somewhere where I have no weapons to defend myself. And there's a cat woman trying to kill me. Or force me to marry her. I feel like I don't have... I feel like I shouldn't take my nighttime meds anymore just to keep me awake for, from this lunatic. And it has nobody to do... It has nothing to do with anybody in real life. It... It just popped out of nowhere. Really. This nightmare just popped out straight fucking nowhere and it's haunting me right now. Now, the next time I go to sleep, I'm gonna tell this girl that this this cat woman this. You fuck with me, you fuck with the Velociraptors, including Blue from Jurassic World. And I will sick her on you. I will tell her to it. You if you even try to force me to marry you. Oh God! I wish I had a Velociraptor named Blue that that imprinted on imprint imprinted on me like a father. Oh God! Stand down, Blue. Raising a mutate iguana called Zilla Jr. and raising a velociraptor named Blue, aka Delta Beta, from exactly from Jurassic World, is really tough. 
I don't know how Owen from the movie managed to control four raptors. How the hell did he do it? How did he survive with four raptors that didn't kill him? Oh yeah, and I finally got my compute, my home computer fully hooked up again. Took me about an hour to figure out how to get the monitor to work right. Yeah, a fucking hour. And we didn't hook up this thing until two days ago. We finally got this thing hooked up. We got this home computer of mine hooked up two days ago. When I was more focused on hooking it up as soon as I moved it. Oh my god. Actually, for, you know what? Just for the fucking sake of my sanity, I am going to review Ben 10 again. Ben 10 Race Against Time yet again. This movie, because I haven't seen it in like a year. This one, but in the Blu-ray version. And don't worry, I got the original DVD with the Blu-ray. Plus these two. Yeah, so expect about five or six videos. This is going to be one of those six videos. So... I don't know how I'm going to sign off with this one. What do you guys think I should sign off with? In here, just... Here, take a listen to this. Did you hear blue? That's the beta. Trust me again. Lou, stand down. Stand down. Hey, hey! What did I just say? Yeah, Blue just went and snapped at Owen, aka Chris Pat Pratt, in the movie. Delta. Hey. Listen. Stand down. Stand down. She just snapped at him. Hey, hey! What did I just say? Delta, I see you. Back up. Okay. Good. Good. How does he handle three raptors in one paddock? We know these are pack hunters, and we do know that usually they're not, they can't be controlled, but just because they were, they imprinted on Owen, doesn't mean he has the right to treat them like dogs. Do you guys agree with my opinion that this dude should not treat velociraptors like pets? I mean, these are wild animals. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that WatchMojo.com has actually done a top 10 facts of Jurassic World. And most of it is centered around the movie. The new one that hasn't even been released on DVD yet. But I don't know what makes them, what gets Blue so fun to just watch. 
With that snap, I call, uh... Stand down. Stand down.